You see, you've been so busy destroying the lives of others, Alistair, that you've been neglecting Crane Industries. You don't even have the first clue as to what's going on in your company, do you? Oh, that's a lie. My company is as strong as it's ever been, and I'm the most powerful thing in it. Yes, you are powerful. You are powerful. But for how long, huh? How long? No one lives forever, Alistair, not even you. Let me clue you in. I'm not dead yet. But you will be. You will be, and then guess what? Nobody is going to be left over to run Crane Industries. Everything you've worked for, and you've planned, and schemed for, and blackmailed for, and did God knows what else for, is going to be gone. Your empire is going to fall, crumble, and there's going to be nothing left but a little bit of history about it, Alistair. The fall of your little empire. Never! What's wrong? What's wrong? Can you breathe? What's going on? Ethan, for God's sake, stop it! You're killing him! Ethan, do something! Help me, Grim! He's dying! Ethan, do something! Ethan, don't just stand there! He's dying! No, oh, Fancy, we're not that lucky. Ethan, call 911. Forget it, he'll be fine. Then I will. Fancy. No, no doctors. He's probably faking it, but if he's not, don't worry about it, because he's a little too ornery to die tonight. Isn't that right, old man? You don't want to die tonight. That would mean the end of Crane Industries, and you'd crawl right out of your grave to keep that evil empire running, wouldn't you? Only you can't fight forever, Alistair. You know, death comes. It comes eventually to everything. Even rattlesnakes. Ethan, you're talking about grandfather. And I bet there won't be a person that won't rejoice that day, Alistair. They'll celebrate with a parade. They'll have a parade to celebrate the destruction of the corrupt edifice that you spent your whole life building. Can you see that, huh? I love that idea. The House of Crane just falling down in the dirt. That will never ha happen. Shh, save your strength. It's gonna happen. You and I both know it's gonna happen. How does it feel to be weak? To realize that you have no control right now? You may live to see another day, but you better be careful. Because every day you spend on that pinnacle of power, it might be your last, old man. Silence! You can't silence death, Alistair. It just comes. When you're lying in your bed one night, your heart's going to be beating faster and faster, and you're going to be wondering to yourself, is it my time? Is this the end of me? You don't frighten me. I don't have to frighten you. You can revel and gloat all you want for now. Mm. You may have succeeded in taking my dad's job. You may have succeeded in ruining Sheridan's life by taking her baby away. But you will pay. Because those shadows have grown darker and they're getting larger. And death is going to come for you, Alistair. And when it does, it will be the day that you lose. I want you out of my house. I'm going. Not just yet, though, because I want to see the day when your reign of terror comes to an end. You're going to fall, Alistair. You are going to fall, and you have a lot further to fall than most of us. I just wish you could stick around to see the end of your empire. It's going to be wonderful watching your companies fold, being bought for 10 cents on the dollar by the very competitors that you held in a stranglehold for decades. You know, wait, wait, no, no, maybe your employees will end up with everything. I just hope they have enough left over to give you a proper burial. You're crazy. And you're overextended, Alistair. You see, without you around, all your complicated deals, they're all gonna fall apart. God, I wish you could be there to see that. Maybe that's the, uh, the hell that the devil has lined up for you, huh? For you to sit there and watch, powerless, as every man and woman and child that you've ever hurt takes away everything that you've ever built. You're finished, Ethan. Finished. Wrong. You are the one that's finished. And you crossed a line when you had my father fired, Alistair. A big line. You're gonna pay. I'm not afraid of you. And you will not beat me, and you will not beat my family. You should be afraid, Ethan. I'll ruin you and all.
No one in this town has seen him. I need manpower. I need undercover guys to check out the clubs, mingle with the summer people, drug crowd. You know, I can do that. Listen, we don't have time for that, okay? We need to find her tonight before things get worse. Dad, I got your message. What's going on? Jessica snuck out again. Oh, no. Yeah. We think she's with Spike. God only knows what he's doing to her. You know, we should have killed that guy when we had the chance. Hey, take it easy. I may not be the chief of police anymore, but I'm a man who still lives by the law. We just need you to help us look for her. Yeah, sure. And look, Dad, maybe, maybe you'll get your job back sooner than you think. I had your contract sent to my office, and we get to work on it. Hopefully, hopefully there's something I can use to force the mayor and the town council to get your job back. <laughs> I won't hold my breath, but I appreciate it. It'll have to be something good, though. Something ironclad that no one can argue with, because yours truly has officially made the Alistair Crane hate list. Why is that? I was up at the mansion telling him off. You too? We must have just missed each other. I'm on Alistair's list as well. Yeah, don't you see a big target painted on my back, huh? Don't worry. Even though you can't see it, it's still there. I'll tell you, it was great telling that old devil where to stick it, though. I just told him there's no way he's gonna beat us. No way. Damn straight. This isn't over. Big words, but watch out. Listen, don't underestimate that old man. I don't want him coming after both you guys. I'm not worried. Neither am I. Well, you should be. Look, come on, let's just forget about Alistair for one night, all right? We have to find Jessica before she gets hurt. Let's go. Hey, boys. I got what you need. Oh, we can have a nice three-way. Well, thanks, honey. Uh, married guy here. Uh, the married ones are our best customers. How about you, cutie? Half price for a hunk like you. Uh, Fine-looking lady like you should be charging double. <laughs> Any sign of her? Scram girls and she finished. Sheila, hold on. I'm not here to run anyone in. Good. I can never get a good night's sleep in your jail. Look, I'm looking for someone, all right? A guy named Spike. You seen him? Marcy! I know you know him. Where is he? Nobody wants to talk about that guy, Chief. Look, I know you all know who the hell I'm talking about. And if you don't tell me what you know, I will run all of you in. Empty threat, ladies. <laughs> he ain't running us anywhere. He got fired. I heard it on the news. <laughs> you can't do a damn thing to us, Chief. Can you? Look, ladies, if you know this jerk, will you please just tell us where he is? This is a waste of time. Hey, Chief Hotness. Since you're not a cop anymore, maybe you and me can have some fun. Give you a good deal. We'll call it your severance package. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. We'll find Jessica, all right? Let's get out of here. We're looking in the wrong part of town, for sure. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It can't be Jess. It is her. Get your hands off her. Come on, you're coming with me. What? Hey, settle down, pal. I just paid for my ride. Wait your turn. She's mine. The hell she is. Who the hell are you, a pimp? I'm her father, her son. Her father! Now, let me tell you something. If you ever touch my daughter again, I swear to God, I will kill you. 